This is not your typical truck driver. I just turned 17. That's right, Isabella is just 17 and driving an 18-wheeler. Look, her feet barely reach the pedal. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And we're here today with another Truckers Reaction video. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to this article that came through my feed today from Inside Edition. Yes, sir. Inside Edition. Y'all know Inside Edition that used to come on TV all every week, but now they got a 10 million strong subscriber base that they do like one to two minute clips on their channel. In this particular article, it says here, teens are becoming big red truckers amidst the driver shortage. How young is too young to be driving these trucks, man? And is the driver shortage that serious to go after teenagers to drive these trucks? I mean, we got two teenagers in here. One is six. Teen, and the other one is 17 is it going to be possible is it is it going to be possible that we're going to actually see teenagers part next to us in these trust stops our teenagers are able to handle the, re the rules and regulations of the road now before Teenagers used to be the biggest cause of traffic accidents in in the U.S. today. And now they want to put teenagers in the seats of these big trucks. Now, Inside Edition say, yo, teenagers are coming to the rescue. Really? I don't know. I don't know. But let's see what this article has to say about teenagers. Hiring teenagers might help the nation, nationwide truck driver shortage, but you generally don't see them behind the wheel of a big rig. Now that's changing. This is not your typical truck driver. I just turned 17. That's right. Isabella is just 17 and driving an 18-wheeler. Look, her feet barely reach the pedal. But she's not alone. Teens are coming to the rescue of the nationwide trucking shortage. I am 16 still and I do not have a license. At Patterson High School in California, these teens are enrolled in one of the first truck driving programs for high schoolers in the U.S. Instructor Dave Dines. There is a huge need. We're short about 63,000 drivers today. Isabella says her mom is a little worried. My mom was more nervous overall because she, the idea of truck driving scares her because of all the reckless drivers in the road. She's getting a hands-on lesson in truck maintenance right and safety. Yep. And if it was flat, you'd feel like a very, it would be a, like a dud. It would just, it would, the hammer wouldn't react very much. And that would be an indication of a flat tire. Yeah. To prepare them for the real road, they spend 30 hours in a driving simulator. Grab the shifter and make sure it goes back and forth. With no end to the trucking crisis in sight, it's teens to the rescue. Teens to the rescue. Mm, mm, mm. I, I I don't know. I, I don't know what that. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I um, you know, I I I would think it would be plausible, but. Would that really help the driver crisis that we that we quote unquote have have going on, right? Teens to the rescue, right? I I don't know, man. I don't know. I I can't see it. You know, the one young lady says her mom's, you know, has reservations, and she should. She should. You know, 16-year-old, I mean, they're not even old enough to drink, let alone being, about, being behind the big reel of a truck. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments, in the comments, in the comments below. 
is drinking is worse than driving the big rig? Let me know. Let me know. And these and and these two uh these two students that they got spotlighted. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I, I I I don't know what to say, man. I mean, I know I know we have a driver shortage and we have a quote unquote driver crisis, but really we're we're looking to teens to try to bail us out of this situation. Really? Really? I I don't know. I can't I can't see it. And um I'm not for it. I'm not for it. I'm not for it, man. I mean, like I said before, I, I just feel that these teams are just not ready at the age of 16, 17. I, I'll go as far as saying 18, 19, maybe. But we're 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 talking 16, 17 here. We we talking 11 graders that's still in school. Maybe I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe they maybe they probably might be doing this just to get them started into the career as they get older, I guess. But bringing teens, the way they talking, they talking actually bringing teens out on the road with us right now. That's what that's what they're talking. They're talking bringing them on the road with us right now. So you guys let me know what you think in the uh in the comments below, all right? Um teams going to be next to you in these truck stops. What do you think? If you like this video, man, make sure you leave a like. It helps that it helps out the channel a lot. Yo, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And for videos like this and more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get notified when I drop on the daily. This is Lockout Man, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next video, and I will come at you guys later. Peace. This is not your typical truck driver. I just turned 17. That's right, Isabella is just 17 and driving an 18-wheeler. Look, her feet barely reach the pedal.